All right, so Black Friday was good to me this year. It's not always like that. I don't always find these deals that I got this year, but I had a successful outlet trip this go around. I got something from Nike that is crazy. Definitely the best Nike deal I've ever found at an outlet. I got some stuff from Polo that I'm gonna show you. Of course, I've got a jacket, I've got something from PacSun, and we're gonna talk about flannels. Hopefully you guys were successful in your Black Friday moves. Let me know what your best deal you found was. Maybe you just protested, maybe you just stayed inside and you don't mess with Black Friday. That's all good. Maybe you do only online shopping. That's all good. Maybe you go to the outlets and you're amongst it. That's cool too. Whatever your deal is let me know down in the comment section but I definitely made out well this year so let's get into all these pickups right now let's start off with the polo pickups because like I've mentioned to you guys before I think polo is killing it this year mainly on their online store but you can also find some deals in their outlet if you didn't know polo makes things that are pretty specific for their outlet occasionally they'll get some stuff that is available online and in their regular retail stores but you know for the most part it's just outlet clothing that they make for specific outlet stores at a discounted price so just keep that in mind if you're buying something there but I don't mind that and I got three things there so I'm definitely co-signing the polo outlet first up is a polo bear hoodie I posted this on my Instagram alongside a burgundy hoodie and uh, it also had the polo bear on the front and I was like, which one, the green or the maroon? You guys all said the maroon and I bought the green. The polo bear is pretty iconic, obviously. This time, the dude is skiing on the front and this is just screen printed on here. The quality of this hoodie is just okay. So if you want something cheaper in material, it doesn't really matter to you that much. You just like the design, definitely go check out the outlet. But I insist that you guys also check out the Ralph Lauren website right now because they're pretty much doing 30% off everything if you buy over $100 worth of stuff. So if you wanted to check out that big P Letterman jacket that I showed you guys a couple videos back, you can get that on sale and an additional 30% off. So definitely a deal. But this is the first hoodie and I got it for like under 50 bucks. I forget what the price was. Next up, this one is so dope. I am definitely hyped on this the most. Check out this navy blue crew neck and that is all embroidered on the front. It's got like this crest logo. This was definitely an impulse buy and I'm totally okay with it. It has that retro vibe to it, but it's also like gaudy and flashy and I don't know, I just really like this thing. It's got the gold crest all embroidered. This whole thing is embroidered, so no screen printing there. And I thought that was a nice quality touch and something you don't always see at the outlets. Just a crazy design on the front of this crew neck. And it's more of like, a lighter navy, which I really liked. The material is pretty similar to that sweatshirt, so it's not amazing, but it's soft and it's comfortable. So, you know, I don't know how long that's gonna hold up, especially after a few washes. So I definitely have to take my time when I'm washing something like that. When I wash a bunch of things, I hang everything right next to my washing machine and stuff is just like in every single corner. And then last up, I got this Sherpa style sweatshirt and it's like this super cozy fleece, black and white, and it says polo embroidered on the front there. On the left sleeve, you've got an American flag and it says USA. Pretty classic polo logo. You can get something on the website like this pretty cheap as well, but this was like right around the same price as those other ones were. I got all three of these for a deal. So I went a little bit flashy with some of these logos, but like I've said before, I'm pretty selective as far as buying stuff that's branded big, and I kind of only make an exception for some of these like 90 style clothing brands like Tommy. I don't have any Nautica, but that is something that I want to get. Guess and Polo. Like I will buy something that has those logos on the front or the back or whatever it is. Something that's like recognizable and something that's classic. Okay, next up I got something from PacSun and this has nothing to do with that clothing haul that I did a few days ago. This is my own purchase and I saw it on their website. This, I don't know if it's a price mistake or not. Maybe they're just selling it for super cheap and then they had the Black Friday deal on top of it. I couldn't believe it. They were selling it for 36 or 38 
something like that, but whatever it is, it was cheap. You guys know that Huff is a brand that I really like, and I know what their stuff sells for, and they are not selling fleece jackets for 38 bucks, but that's what PacSun had it priced at. But either way, here is this fleece zip up from Huff, and it's in this forest green color. Very subtle on there, it has a floral print. And I thought that that was really cool how it's kind of like understated. You can only see this if you're up close. From a distance, it looks like just a forest green fleece zip up, which I'm kind of obsessed with anyway. I love forest green zip ups, hoodies, whatever it is. But this was an absolute deal that I couldn't pass up. I'm definitely hyped on that zip up. Let's keep it moving. Oh, yep, I definitely messed with this jacket. Very good pickup. Okay, next up, let's get into a flannel. And I actually did not buy this on Black Friday, but you can buy this right now for cheaper than I bought it for. Last time I looked, this was 50% off, so $30. And this is definitely a steal at 30 bucks. It's from The Gap. I thought that the plaid colors on here was kind of a unique combination. You've got orange, yellow, and navy. I wore these with my yellow and navy skate highs like a few weeks ago, posted it on my Instagram, and a lot of you guys were curious as to where this flannel came from. Grab it right now for 30 bucks. Absolute steal. I got a few other colors that I'm gonna show you guys later on, but definitely look around and take advantage. Buy multiple if you can. Usually it's only 40% off on their flannels, so the fact that it's 50, and sometimes even more than 50, it depends on when you look, and you buy multiple, it makes a big difference. Okay, so this next jacket is definitely something unique and I got such a deal on it and it's from a brand that a lot of you guys might not even know is still in business, but they've kind of revamped themselves a little bit. They were purchased by another brand, but this is a jacket from American Apparel. But I was cruising through their website and I saw this jacket and I pulled the trigger because it was 40% off. This is really cool. This is my first time checking it out, but the pictures online kind of sold me on it. There's two different colorways. This is a corduroy kind of varsity bomber jacket. So this style jacket is kind of new to me. It's like this honey brown color that I think is really cool. And then it has this olive green collar that you can either wear up or fold down. It's got button front closure, two front pockets, and then down at the bottom is kind of where you get that varsity style. You see the green and white stripes that are going on there. You have those on the wrist as well. I think this jacket is super unique and there's not much that I have like it. And I pulled the trigger on it. It was originally $100, then I got 40% off, so 60 bucks for this thing right here. This is for sure a warm winter jacket. It's reinforced on the inside. I went a size down because after reading the reviews, people were saying that it runs a little bit big. So I went a size down. Okay, so like I said, this is a size large and I think it fits me perfectly. It's somewhat slimmer than I typically wear jackets and I'm totally okay with it given the material. You don't really want an oversized corduroy jacket. Obviously this color combination is not really how I'd wear it, but I'm just showing you guys how it fits. So this is a size large. If you're in between sizes, definitely go down as opposed to going up. But uh, I like this thing a lot. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section and it feels warm. Okay, last up is an insane Nike outlet find. This is definitely the best Nike outlet deal I've ever found, hands down. Like this is nuts. I can't believe the price that these things were at. So we've got a pair of the Nike Zoom Fly SP and this colorway is white, sail, and bright crimson. These retailed for 150 bucks and then they were on the hash wall at the Nike outlet for 44.97. On top of that, was an additional 40% off. So I got these things 
for 26 bucks. That is a crazy deal, especially since I've been wanting to try out this model because people like rant and rave about it, saying how comfortable it is. I don't think I'm gonna do any actual running in these, maybe the gym, but that's about it. I kinda wanted to get these as something to just throw on when I'm going to do errands or whatever it is. Just a sneaker that's super comfortable when I'm gonna be on my feet all day. I was able to get my size, which is actually a size 12 in these. I'm typically an 11 and a half in most sneakers, but I had to size up with these things and they still actually feel somewhat snug. There was some other really good stuff on the hash wall. Definitely make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram because I posted those deals and just stuff I was finding. I always think it's cool to post what's at your local Nike outlet so other people can see what's around. So this is a Nike Racing dust bag and it's actually kind of convenient that they included this bag because I hate the hash wall boxes because you know the top is obviously ripped off and this is kind of useless other than just to bring your sneakers home. So these shoes will be in this running bag, but 26 bucks for these? That's a wild deal. Let me know if you guys found anything better at your Nike outlet. Let me know what you copped this year on Black Friday. Let me know if you didn't get anything. It's all good either way. I gotta go because the Union LA ones are about to drop again, and I'm gonna try to get those. Hopefully, luck is on my side. If not, no big deal. We're on to the next one. I really hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving and you were able to spend some time with your families. This video is over. Make sure you hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you are new. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. That is a wrap though. I'll catch you next time. Peace.